Hi everybody, Creative Katie Karen Virgil here. Welcome to an art journal tutorial. This one's entitled Angel of Hope. So to start off this project, I have a master board. And this is on, it's a little bigger than copy paper. And my plan was to cut it to size and glue it onto this card from this old repurposed recipe binder. So, uh, and then I decide because the paper is thick, it's on cover stock, I'm just going to cut it to the size of the paper, hole punch the paper, and I can just use that as an art journal page. And that's one of the benefits of using a binder or a disc bound system. So before I get on with the art journal page, I'm just showing you what I'm doing with the rest of the paper. I'm using this template to figure out where an interesting display would be. And I'm cutting out three ATCs with this from this master board. Now, while I'm not going to finish them during this video because the video would get too long, I will have those at the ready. So on a day that I'm going to be doing ATCs, I will have different ATCs with different colors and backgrounds and with many of the first steps already done and ready to go. So I'm just using my Tim Holtz trimmer guillotine cutter here, which I love. It's tiny, it's small, it fits under my desk on my shelf, but it's so handy to have. So there are my three ATCs and very, very little bit of waste. So I love the Willow Tree Angels, always have. And I'm challenging myself to start doing angel pages. A lot of them have been showing up on my feed and it's like, okay, you need to do this. You want to do this. So today I'm collaging it. And over time, I'm hoping to revisit doing angels, doing them in different ways and hopefully build my skills. So I'm painting some white paper with the shimmery goodness from the crafters workshop. And this is opalescent. It's kind of got a shimmer pearlescent kind of look. And I want this for the wings. Now, as I was cutting paper for the wings and just playing around and seeing what I can come up with, I discovered that if I cut out a heart and then do what I'm doing right now, the hearts can be tucked in and they kind of look like the wires on the willow tree angels. The body I've cut from a piece of scrapbook paper, which I don't even know where I got because I've never purchased scrapbook paper. I think I won it in a contest. So I'm doing that with the hearts. And every time I get a smaller heart, I'm doing a smaller loop de loop. This could be butterfly wings. Now the wings on here are too big for the page or the page is too small for the wings one of the two and it would the scale would look better if the page was bigger or if i had made the wings smaller so that's lesson one now i'm taking the scrapbook paper and this just perfectly matches that little bit of coral red in the background and i'm edging it and i'm placing it down on the page. Now there's dots on the scrapbook paper. So I want to introduce a few more dots in the background. So I'm spreading the white paint on the glass mat and I'm using this dot stamp, one of my favorites, and I'll put a link to it in the description box, along with the names of the stencils that I've used in the background. That was something I did on a, on a gathering with my mixed media friends here in Victoria. So I don't have a video for that. I painted the circle head with some flesh colors and I cut out another heart. As I said, this angel I'm keeping fairly simple. My hope is that every time I revisit and doing angels, I'm going to gain skills. So I drew the law, the body shape just to get the placement of the wings. And because they're overlapped, it's a little bit tricky, but you know, I just persevered. 
So once I get them where I have them, I'm holding them down and I'm putting the mat medium, the fluid medium underneath and pressing the wings, the hearts down. I have lots of ideas for different angels, for different ways to do the wings. But it's a good idea when you have an idea to start. Just start. I started, I cut out some, some body shapes and I played around trying to find the wings. And that gave me some ideas. When you're actively involved in it, you are going to get the ideas and you are going to figure it out but you have to do it. I'm going to put the head down. I'm just collaging this down. I'm just putting some paint. And this is just basic craft paint. I just grabbed the little bottles that I have that I'm trying to use up. and adding different shades. I'm adding some dark, some lights. I'm just playing till it looks good to me. A little blush to her cheek. I don't put a face on her. I chose not to. I may come back and just add some eyes and a mouth. And then I'm just dotting some flowers in her hair, just with the tip of a fine line brush. Got green and I've got that coral. Adding a little bit of light. Now the heart is on rice paper. Now I have this fantasy tile, which is in the background, and I'm putting it on the bottom of her dress just to bring that motif into the rest of the, the focal, onto the focal point. And I'm using the float technique to shade around the outside edge with the blue and around the angel. Rubbing a little bit of gold on top and it kind of goes and matches the gold that's in her hair. And I and I shade around, I'm using the float technique with gold and it's kind of, it's giving a little bit of a shimmer, a little bit of the halo effect around the wings and around the head of the angel. It's really hard to pick up on the camera, but in real life it actually works quite well. Then because I have gold down below and gold in her hair, I'm painting the heart gold as well. And I always find with gold, I need to put a couple of layers to get the coverage that I want. I didn't draw any arms on my angel. It's a very primitive angel. I got some darkness over top of the wings, so I'm just whiting that out with a little more paint. And then I'm going to splatter gold, and that's just going to introduce the gold to the background. So it's great when you use a master board or collage sheet as an Insta background, because I could just focus on the angel part here. Now, I didn't want to do too much for a sentiment. There's not a lot of room on the page. So I grab my wooden stamps and I'm stamping out the word hope. So I stamped it out on a piece of paper just to get the right placement and see if I like the size and the scale. Everything's good. 
So then I'm putting it there for placement and then I'm stamping with black acrylic paint. So I've got black acrylic paint on my glass mat and I spread it thin and I kind of, I use it like a stamp pad. I've had these wooden blocks stamps for a, for a very long time, almost from the beginning. And I have not used them, but I am now and I love it. Sorry about that. Now I'm just shading a little bit of dark around the angel and the heart just to bring it out. And it's these little finishing details that really add up and make your focal point pop, makes your page pop. Added some dots with my gel, secure a gel, gel glaze pen. And I'm going around the outside edge. And I thought I was done at this point. I took pictures. And it sat there. There's a close-up. And then I decided I wasn't done. I needed to bring out the wings. So I grabbed my charcoal pencil. This is a general's charcoal pencil and I am going on the wings and then I'm going to go in and smudge the dark with the blending tool blending stump here and it just makes a world of difference you can see from one side to the next it just gives a lot of definition to the wings and makes it look more like the willow tree angel the wire Have you done an angel page? I would love to see it. Come join my Facebook group, Mixed Media Creations, and post your angel pics. I'll see you in the next video. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. Share with your creative friends. Bye for now.